Hey guys, BM Geckos here today, and as you notice, I do not have a gecko. Um, this is actually my spider ball python. Um, I love the markings on her back. Uh, she was the most reduced patterned um, spider I could find there. And I just really like the spiders. And uh, so that's what I was really looking for. I got her back in October. Along with my uh, Trimper uh, Het Raptor female. But, um, yeah, she's very cool. She's very, very nice. Uh, her temperament is just amazing. Uh, that's what I really like about bell pythons. Um, they just have such a wonderful temperament and uh, just wonderful snakes. I also. Uh, I like Bloods and uh, Burmese. Uh, one of the biggest snakes that I like, well not the biggest snake, but one of the big snakes that I like are the Retics. Um, I really like those. Uh, the Golden Child, uh, that's probably one of my favorites. And then the Lavender Albinos and um, the Granite are some of my favorites. And the Genex Stripe. But uh, for now, I just have a spider ball python. Um, I got her for a very good deal also. Uh, this is a stubborn eater. That's the only thing about her. She will not take rats. She will only, only take uh, mice. That and she will not eat uh, frozen thawed. I know I'm gonna get all kinds of hate comments because I have to feed her live, but, um, when she came out, she would not eat frozen thawed, so the breeder had to start feeding her, um, live mice, and, uh, that was the only thing that she ate, so, um, when we first got her, she ate two hopper mice, uh, every Sunday. Um, now she has gotten into a couple bigger mice. She'll eat those. Uh, whenever she eats, <laughs> I feed her. Um, I mean, if she's hungry, why not feed her? When we're hungry, we eat. But um, I guess you can say that I like my woman big. <laughs> but uh, normally she'll take like a meal on Wednesday and then eat uh, Sunday. Like on Wednesday, I might feed her a hopper, and on Sunday, I'll give her, um, almost an all-grown, uh, mouse. But, um, she's a very nice snake. Very cool. Uh, my first snake, actually, that I have. Uh, my dad, when he was little, he used to have ball pythons. He had an albino, and, um, he had a bumblebee. But, uh... When moving, he had to get rid of them when he was little. So, um, you know, it was just something that I was looking into. I wasn't ever expecting to get one at the reptile show in October. But, um, my dad was seeing me eyeballing this one right here. And I asked the guy if I could hold it. And, um, I got her for 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great price for such a wonderful snake. But, um, my dad seen me eyeballing it, and, uh, I really wanted it. I didn't tell him that I wanted it, he could just see it in my eye. So, uh, he said, we'll take it. And, uh, I was really happy right then. Um, I always thought my first snake would have been something like a corn. Because, you know, they're, uh, they're not necessarily small, but, um, they get long, but they're not, they don't get as thick. But, uh. Yeah, I really like this. Uh, she hangs out with me all the time. Wonderful temperament. And I just mean wonderful. I'm thinking about, um... I don't plan on breeding her anytime soon, ba uh, basically, because she's so small. But, um... Maybe in about three or four years, I might get a uh, male for her. A male pastel. Because bumblebees... Um... You know, some people just say, oh, they're just a basic, uh... One of your basic morphs. But, um... I just love the bumblebee in the way that uh, 
its pattern from the spider and the pastel are formed and uh, the color it, it's just amazing so um you know I just love it but uh she feels like silk in my hand if you guys have ever felt like silk uh, brushing through your hands this is what it feels like if you guys don't have a bow python that is you know uh, Dave if you're watching this uh, you have a couple balls I believe <laughs> not that in the perverted way at um I mean snakes <laughs> but um I know that you probably know what uh it feels like to hold this uh but um yeah she's just a wonderful wonderful girl and uh yeah I'm thinking about getting a male pastel uh the reptile show we have one down here in March um June, October, and December down here at Repticons. And, uh, you know, one of those I might pick up a pastel, but it won't be this year. Maybe next. But, um, she's just wonderful. Um, I had her in a 55 gallon, uh, terrarium. Uh, but, um, <laughs> I kind of, uh, had to get a, uh, 20 gallon long for her because, uh, my little sister, um, running through the house, she's three years old, um, so she really doesn't know any better, but she hit it, I forget with what it was, but it was a hard object and it put a crack in the glass and I really didn't like that, and, uh, so I got her a 20 gallon for now, 20 gallon long. Uh, she has driftwood, a hide, and um, some carefresh bedding. That is all I use. It's if you're looking for bedding, um, I suggest getting carefresh bedding. Um, it's it uh, keeps the odor down. Um, I don't necessarily think ball pythons uh, smell. But, um, it definitely keeps the odor down when they use the bathroom and whatnot. Um, it's really easy to spot clean with. And, um, it comes in three colors, I believe. Uh, purple, white, and brown. I use, like, the brown tan one. And, uh, it makes perfect for, like, a naturalistic setup. Without actually having soil and stuff in there. But I have, um, I believe I said driftwood and, uh, rock hide. Um, it's not really rock, it's made to, it's, uh, exoterra, I believe, and it, uh, looks like rock. Looks like, a uh, rock. But, um, and I have a fairly, uh, big water dish for her to soak in. Uh, on the bottom there is a heat pad, and on the top there was a basking light. Um, and that's basically her setup for now. Uh, there was, you know, more driftwood and stuff in the other one because, uh, it was a bigger uh, terrarium, but um, yeah. Like I said, I might. I don't think I'm gonna be getting another one anytime soon because I really want to work with my uh, leopard gecko projects. Um, I really want to get a uh, nice enigma that uh, Dave has been producing. Um, he produced some very nice ones last year. Uh, the Dalmatians, which are, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dave, but, um, I believe they are super snow, um, enigmas, but they also have the, uh, Efasciolatus, Efasciolatus, Efasciolatus gene in them, um, and the ones in his video showed no signs at all from what I could tell, um, from the enigma trait. Well, you could see because of the pattern and everything, but if you did not know, if the Enigma displayed no uh, patterning uh, breakups and stuff like that, you could not tell that that was an Enigma. And, I mean, it, it was awesome. And, uh, congrats, Dave, for producing something like that. And, uh, I plan on getting one from him this year, hopefully. But, um, yeah, guys, this is my ball python. Spider ball, and uh, I'll catch you later, guys.